everybody, and welcome back for another unboxing of a Dragon uh, 1 6 scale kit. And uh, you can see that I brought the other two out that I have. I've got the British SAS uh, Desert Raider, and then we have the Northwest European Theater from 1944 uh, SS Raider vehicle. One is obviously in desert uh, configuration, it's expansion tank and extra jerry cans. And this one here is more of uh, something you would find in the woods. Yeah. So let's crack that one open and show you what's in that box. Hey. All right, here's the front cover. Check out the, the Vickers machine guns that are on there. Okay. Big kahuna of a kit. Lots of weight, lots of plastic. All right. We'll just set this back up there for, for display purposes. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Right off the bat, very top of the, of the, uh, of the pile here, we have a couple of bags that are identical, which make up the, uh, the Vickers machine gun. Um, that goes on this vehicle and you can see here. There's uh, One two three four of those machine guns mounted. Is that four or five? Doesn't matter um, We got enough here to make four weapon systems. That's what I'm talking about <clears throat> so Yeah, we've got uh, the machine gun comes in in two halves and the sights are in there the mount system uh, the barrels flash suppressors the uh, the uh, all the mounting connections, so this is kind of cool. I've had pretty good luck with uh, with uh, weapons uh, as far as building them and painting them, and we'll do this in a later model review of a kit I already have built, but it's the uh, one six scale Panzer. I believe it's a Panzer II uh, that Dragon came out with. But I thought for a static display model that the gun system on there, you know, the cannon and the machine gun that mounts next to it. Uh, was pretty well detailed and uh but we'll we'll do that on a different day okay so you got two of these uh these sprue sets now i'm assuming that this particular version has the same uh gun kits in it okay um all right same stuff right we got the uh the da data plates and the gauges and things like that and then we've got the strapping for the jerry cans and whatever needs to be strapped on that particular vehicle. Now they do not show uh, an ax and a shovel on either one of these images, so I don't know uh, if the British even carried them because I think that these vehicles were issued without them and the units had to outfit uh, their vehicles with the basic issue items like the Pioneer tools. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how things went down back in the day. Okay, same, uh, same body. Uh, and everything here, the same set of seats and framework. What I'm trying to see is if there's anything different in here uh, from the other kit. Now this has a little bit more hardware in it. As you can see, we've got the axle and some clippage. I don't know what the hell that's for. Hopefully it's not for the uh, steering. Um, yeah, let's just take a quick gander here. All right, now here's a set of screws that are specific to this version of the Jeep. Now, if you're interested in an in-depth review of the Jeep model itself, uh, there is a video posted on this Willis MB where I show every one of the, uh, in every one of the sets. But, so I don't know, I guess these are fuel cans or ammo cans or whatever. Um, this is all parts to make up the uh, uh, this particular version and they look like extended range fuel tanks so i'm assuming that's what these things are is part of the fuel system and uh you know you got the mounts here for the machine guns things like that a lot of plastic in this in this box okay axles springs firewall springs Hood. Okay. Now, 
here's some more of the uh, of, of the accessories for this particular version. Notice the, uh, I don't know if this was supposed to be a sight glass or what, but it's the framework that goes above the machine gun. So I don't know if they had glass in there or not. Let's take a peek. Um, these are just the grab handles, uh, the floor. You've seen all those, you've seen the wheels. Um, here's some more options, okay? And this is supposed to be a little crate, like a little, a little uh, oil crate or something. I think the kit mentions it here on the side. Bonus ammo drums, I'm sorry. Ammo drums fit inside these little crates. See? I didn't even know that. That's okay though, there's a lot that I don't know. I just want to look at the clear parts. Yeah. Here we are with the body. More grab handles and differential covers and things like that. The kit does come with the axe and shovel accessories. Yep. Here's the, uh, the windows for those, uh, those arches for each of the machine guns. And then, of course, it has the headlights, reflectors, uh, you know, your tail lights here with your blackouts. So, all right, so everything else in the kit's pretty standard except for a few sprues, um, which make up the difference <clears throat> in what it needs to make that version of the vehicle. Very nice. Spare tire. There's some steering linkage falling out of here. But again, you know, nice big tub. And uh, I don't think I'm going to do all the extra super detailing on the two British versions, only on the regular MB kit, because I really want it to look like Dog 6. Uh, this is Delta 6, man, and uh, she's my baby. So, all right, let's put all this stuff back together and see if we can get it back, in the, in the, uh, back into, the, um, into the box here. This is proven to be difficult on... Trying to remember how this thing went back together. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to pack this thing in front of you. Let's just say it's hard getting it all back in the box to the point to where the box can close. But it's a really cool kit. And uh, we'll just do a quick pan around here. Hang on a minute. Look at all this plastic, my friends. Somebody created a plastic shortage. Okay. You see what I mean? How am I gonna stuff this back in there? I should have paid attention when I unpacked it. Uh, I'm gonna go back to my army days and redo this.